aggression is the word that you often hear in the U.S. media and from U.S. officials with regard to Russia's presence in Ukraine. What they fail to show is the aggression. It's very difficult to talk about aggression when you show thousands of people cheering for Russia in different parts of Ukraine, right? Maybe that's why you don't see this kind of footage on U.S. TV very often. But you do see this coverage in which Russia's military presence there in itself is presented as an intervention. What the anchors and pundits often fail to mention is that Russia and Ukraine have an agreement under which Russia is allowed to deploy 25,000 troops in Ukraine. It now has presumably 16,000 or so. So you get a picture where the U.S. presents anything that goes against the interests of those who took power in Kiev as an aggression, and the revolution there as this peaceful takeover of power. These uh, brave Ukrainians took to the streets in order to stand peacefully against tyranny and to demand democracy. So instead, they were met with snipers who picked them off one after the other. One wonders if bombarding the police with Molotov cocktails and shooting at them qualifies as standing peacefully, according to Secretary Kerry. A huge part of Ukraine had no say in the power grab at Maidan. Secretary Kerry apparently presents it as a triumph of democracy. We've heard no comments from him on the leaked conversation between the EU foreign affairs chief, Catherine Ashton, and Estonian foreign minister, where they talk about evidence that Maidan leaders, not Yunukovych, gave orders to snipers. And the media on something like this, I mean, you would expect breaking news everywhere. We're talking about evidence that those who are now celebrating victory in Kiev may have well ordered snipers to shoot both at peaceful protesters and the police. But no, none of that. For hours it went unnoticed because it doesn't fit into the narrative, does it? But what the U.S. media was quick to pick up on were unverified reports like this one. Robert Seri has agreed to give up his mission here in Ukraine. He is, of course, the UN Special Envoy to Ukraine. He's from the Netherlands, a father of three, and he was taken against his will a short time ago uh, by an uh, armed militia. So after a great deal of hysteria, the UN confirmed the envoy was not kidnapped. But he did come across a group of protesters, and the envoy, who was apparently escorted by police at the time, decided to leave to avoid further tension. The general picture that you get is that of the U.S. mainstream media jumping on anything, verified or unverified, to present Russia as an aggressor without much or any knowledge of what's happening on the ground. And U.S. officials, well, they continue their self-righteous tirade while being engaged in actual acts of aggression around the world with innocent people dying every day in drone strikes or from violence in countries that were destabilized by the U.S.